Hello and welcome to our next YouTube tutorial. In this video we are going to build a CSS animated checkbox which will allow you to create some toggling effect. So as you can see we've got here our checkbox. By default we have here a circle placed on the left side with red background. If we click it then the circle will move to the right side smoothly and also background color will be changed from red into green. Besides that you can notice here a little dot placed in the center of the circle. When we toggle the checkbox, then this little dot changes its color as well. Okay, so that's it what we're going to do. Actually, we created this checkbox with large size just for better visibility. In general, on modern websites, you will meet smaller checkboxes. Okay, let's go ahead and start building this project. In VS Code, I've got two different files. One for HTML and the second one for CSS. In index.html file, I have prepared the basic structure of HTML document. Inside head element, I've passed the link for style.css file. Alright, let's at first create HTML markup, open div element, which will wrap the entire content, assign to it class container. And then inside the container, we need to create two elements. First one is going to be an input element with type checkbox. Next we need to create a label, inside for attribute write check and also assign to it class toggle. And finally we need to insert div element inside label. It's going to be a circle so let's assign to it class circle. The last thing that we need to do inside the HTML document is to link input and label. In order to do that, we have to assign to input id attribute and it should have the exact same value which we passed for for attribute, I mean check. In order to see clearly what I'm talking about, let's insert inside development some text, let's say click. So if we click that text, then the checkbox will be checked automatically. Okay. Let's go to style.css file and start writing some CSS. At first I'm going to create some reset styles. Let's get rid of the default margin and padding from every element. In order to select every element we have to use an asterisk. And then pass here margin 0 and padding 0. Alright, next I'm going to place the content perfectly in the center. For that let's select container. And at first define width and height. I'm going to set width as 100%. As for height, I'm going to set it as 100% of viewport. Then change background color. You see your color E, E, E. And now in order to center the content, I'm going to use Flexbox. We need here display flex. Then in order to center element, Horizontally, we need justify content center and then align items center in order to center element vertically. Alright, so as you can see, the checkbox is placed perfectly in the center. Now I'm going to select the label, but before that, let's get rid of this text from here. Then go back to the CSS file and select label using class name toggle. Let's define width as 150 pixels, then we need height, let's set it as 50 pixels, change background color, I'm going to use here color E24848 and also make element rounded using border radius 50 pixels. Alright, so the last thing that I want to do with the label is to create some shadow effect. But in this case, I'm going to create a shadow inside the element. For that, we need box shadow. Then as a first value, we need here inset. Then 0, 2 pixels, 10 pixels, and the color 555. Five, five. Alright, so now you agree that it looks much better. Now it's time to create the circle, so select development with class name circle. First of all, let's define width and height and set both of them as 5 pixels. 
Actually, we applied those stars to circle because using them we will create a little dot in the center of the circle. As for the white part of the circle, it should be created by the border. So we need here border with the values 27 pixels, solid and white color. And in order to make element rounded, let's use border radius with a value 50%. Alright, so we have here the circle, but for now it's not placed in the right way, we have to take care of its position. For that I'm going to use position absolute. Then, in order to manage the position of the circle according to its parent element, which is a label, we have to assign to label position relative. Okay, let's move the circle a little bit up and also to the left side. So, we need to define the top and left positions as top minus 4 pixels and left minus 5 pixels. And finally I'm going to create a little shadow effect, right box shadow with the values 0, 0, 5 pixels and the color AAA. Alright, that's it, we have customized our checkbox and now it's time to make it work. For that we have to create the click event you may think that for that we should use JavaScript, but in this case I'm going to use some CSS tricks which will allow us to create the click event. As you remember, we have linked input and label using ID and four attributes, so that's the way how we're going to create the click event. We have to define some CSS styles and we have to apply them to elements when the checkbox is checked. First of all, we have to select input element, it has ID check. Then in CSS we have a pseudo class called checked, which allows us to select the checkbox in checked mode. Now we have to get access on the element which we need to customize. In this case we need to select circle, but we cannot just write here circle. At first we have to get access on the label which is a sibling of input. In order to select the sibling of input element we have to use one of the CSS combinators called General Sibling Selector, which is expressed by tilde sign. Now we need a label, it has class name toggle, and finally we need here circle. Ok, so now we have access on the circle and all the styles which we are going to pass here should be applied to circle when checkbox will be checked. In case of a circle we need to move it from its current position to the right side for that let's use left position and at first let's assign to it 100%. Also we need a transition for smooth effect, assign to it values left and 0.5 seconds. Let's check what will happen, if I click here then the circle will move to the right side, but it will be ended up too far. So in order to get the needed result we need to subtract to 100% the size of the circle. Let's calculate the size of the circle, actually in size of the circle I mean the diameter of the circle, it has width 5 pixels and border 27 pixels. But we need to keep in mind that 27 pixels should be doubled because we have left and right sides. So overall the value should be the sum of 27 pixels plus 27 pixels and plus 5 pixels. It's 59 pixels. So we need to subtract to 100% 59 pixels. As you see we have here different measurement units, percentage and pixel. Actually this operation is not valid in CSS and in order to make it valid we have to use a function called calc, which stands for calculate. Now this operation is valid, so if we click again then the circle will move and we will get a much better result. At a glance that is the result which we needed to get, but actually we need to move circle a little bit more to the right side. To be more precise we need to move it by 5 pixels. Because as a default position we have defined left minus 5 pixels. So instead of 59 pixels we need 54 pixels. And I hope that it makes sense to you. So if we click then everything will work perfectly. Now we need to change the color of the label, we have to make it green. Actually we need here to use the same technique, so let's duplicate this code. We have to change background color of label element, so let's get rid of circle from here. 
then delete this line of code as well and insert here background color with the value 3EB963. Finally, we need a transition for the label as well. So write here transition with the values background color and 0.5 seconds. So as you can see, now everything works fine and actually we are almost done. The only thing that we have to do is to hide this little checkbox. For that, I'm going to go to index.html file and assign to input element attribute called hidden. Alright, so that's it. Our project is done. We have created a nice animated checkbox with toggling effect. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and learned some cool things. So if you liked the video, then please subscribe to our channel thumbs up, comment below and click the bell to get notified about new tutorials which are coming up. Okay, see you in the next video.